Hey guys, my name is Kaushik and welcome back to LitCode. In this video, we are going to learn three things. One is the straight and the new locator API and the difference between element handle. And also, we are going to take a look on the nth function. Okay, it's going to be very simple and it's just more of like concept, like what you should use from now onwards. So it's going to be very easy tutorial. Okay. So as usual, I have created a test called locator versus element handle. And within that, I have imported the test. In this video, I'm not using any fixture, but even if you use the fixture, the concept is going to be very similar. Okay. So here we have a basic test like straight element handle, and we are using the page uh, from the playlist test fixture. Uh, when I say fixture means like I'm not using my customized like base uh, fixture. Okay, so this is like default if you are using test runner, of course, you already know this. Okay, so here we are going to take this website just to show you the demo. So I'm going to take this website uh, freelancer.in slash login. Okay, in this page, we have like uh, one, two and a few other buttons as well. Right, so let's go and uh, inspect that. So I'm going to inspect and find how many buttons are there okay so double slash button that means we are trying to find the x path and here you can see that we have like x, um, six and the first one is basically this login with facebook if i click on this of course it's going to bring up a new tab here okay um, so i want to show you like what is the use of straight okay i don't think this is a really a great feature uh, because i don't think like any kind of scenario where this will be very useful but in certain scenarios it might be useful so i will teach you like how to use it based on your requirement probably you can use it and if you think like uh Koshik, you might uh, forget few scenarios or like uh, this could be the scenario probably just do let me know in the comments okay so first of all we are going to find the button so i'm going to say like page dot uh, dollar that is element handle and within that i'm going to say like a uh, button and this is going to work fine right so i'm going to say like let um, btn okay and assume that i'm going to do the hover okay so btn uh, like await and then btn if it's not null then probably we'll say like uh, hover hover is nothing but like uh, the mouse hovering action okay then we'll use the btn dot uh, click okay we don't have to use these uh this one right so if it's we don't have to check if it's null or not for every uh every line because of course once we check it is going to do the hover right or else it will come here it will throw error okay so let's go and run this now this is fine okay so i'm going to bring up my control j terminal and i'm going to say npm run test and if you just missed the previous video these features are available on the version uh, 1.14.0 so make sure you have updated and also i have uh, mentioned this particular test in my test match okay so let's go and run this basically what it's going to happen is nothing basically it's going to click on the very first element okay uh, that means we can see the facebook login page now so i'm going to bring up my browser here um, so here you can see that it clicked on the facebook with the login and that's why we got this new pop-up right so that's it uh, that means even though we have multiple same locator it's not like we are finding the button or it can be anything it can be look any locator like xpath css or your relative locators anything it can be okay so even though there are multiple buttons are there multiple selectors or locators are there uh, by default selenium is going to sorry not selenium by default playwright is going to interact with the very first element and that is the default behavior so far now in case if you don't like this behavior for example let's say that i have found a x path and i'm passing this but in the runtime the x path is also getting duplicate or maybe multiple uh, same locator okay in that scenario i don't want to continue my execution rather i want to stop my execution in that case strict might help you okay so here after the element handle we are going to use these optional parameters and i'm going to say like straight colon true that means uh, now if there are multiple occurrences of same locator it is going to throw the error okay let's see that so i'm going to run the same now this time it is going to fail actually okay So here you can see that the browser got lost and now it's going to actually fail let's see yeah 
so it, it, here you can see that it got failed and the reason of it get failed is basically uh, here you can see like evalu evaluation failed error strict mode violation selector result to six element that means there are totally six buttons on the page that's why it got failed because we have used the strict okay so that is the only use case of using the strict so if you want to uh, stop your execution if there are multiple selectors then probably you can use it okay and that's it anyways i think most of the time we go with like uh, xpath where we always try to find the unique one maybe in some kind scenario it is useful but i i'm not able to collect like anywhere i have i needed something like this but if there is something then of course it's good only okay okay so next we are going to run the second test we are going to learn about the locator api now there is a major changes in this uh, entire playwright thing and of course don't just uh, tell me in the comments like hey you are teaching daily something new but everything is getting changed it's a very new uh, library or api so of course we can expect a lot of changes in upcoming days as well okay so it's not like fully stable yet. it is very stable in terms of like doing the execution and everything but still there are so many internal changes for example this locator locator uh, it's very good feature i think it's a good very good feature uh, why because let me tell you okay so what happens in like element handle this dollar right so whenever we find the element uh, for example uh, that is the reason i have written this like hover and click so when i say hover uh, it's going to use this button and when I say click of course it's going to use the same button but how many times the button is going to find is only once so when I say like let button equal to this guy that means the button is found only once and whenever I say hover or click it is just going to reuse the button okay but in the locator what happens right here you can see that in this example below like uh, something something uh, basically whenever i say like uh, hover or the click it is going to refine that element how this is going to helpful in the sense like if you have like uh, view js or the react pages mostly the elements just get changed very often like uh, page does not reload entirely but part of the page uh, even that applies to angular as well so part of a portion a portion of the page get uh, reload or sometimes the button text might change um, button will be there but the text might change so in that case what will happen there might be like unpredictable clicks but with the help of locator uh, basically is try to capture the logic of uh, like how to retrieve the elements that is what mentioned in the document basically like uh, always it's try, uh, element handle always try to find the elements and click or do some actions on the beginning but here uh, here you can see like latter points of a particular element that means at the end of the element it's going to do the click action okay i don't know how that is going to really helpful but this concept i understood like whenever we do multiple actions on the same element it is going to refine okay so here you can read that like uh, it is going to uh, locate the element twice okay so that is the only feature i see here for the page dot locator and most of the things like whatever we do like with the element handle exactly same most of the things are same but there are a few things i noticed that is not mentioned in the document actually so one is like uh, let me show you this older code right so here you can say like we have like search multiple handling how to handle multiple elements right so we use this double dollar uh, that is basically to find multiple elements right and here you can see that we can use the map functions we can use the far off not far off of course far off we can use there as not uh yeah we cannot actually use for of but for iterator that basic one we can use like using i equal to zero i lesser than something that we can use this is not possible and map is also not possible okay um so how to do those kind of scenarios with the help of locator i'm going to show you that as well okay uh and one more thing we have to remember like when i say page dot locator and if i if i'm going to pass something like button that means by default it is going to have the strict okay so here we are using strict right so by default it's going to have the strict and of course await is not needed because this is not returning any promise okay so let's say that i'm going to uh, use the same code okay so i'm going to use the same code so i'm just going to copy this guys uh this is basically uh let me show you what i'm trying to do so we'll go to this particular um page and here i'm going to type my github username 
and then uh, if I click on the search here, you can say like we are getting multiple GitHub URLs. So I'm going to print that. That's it. Very simple. So I have done the same with the help of like uh, element handle, multiple element handles. Now we are going to do with the locator. Okay. So it's going to be very simple actually, but something I have to show you. Okay. So here like uh, entering the username and then, okay. So then this locator, so I'm just going to copy and paste over here. So we'll wait for the element. And then probably I'll just copy this entire code and I'll show you what is not possible. Okay. So here I'm going to this particular URL and in the, on the, uh username field i'm trying the i'm typing my github username and i'm pressing the enter key okay then i'm waiting for this elements to load this element is basically uh this urls okay and then i'm going to close this yeah and then we are trying to find multiple elements now i'm going to use that instead of like double dollar i'm going to use locators now here you can see that uh first of it is not required and the length is not um uh, there because it's not going to return me the array of uh, locators but instead of that i can use something like count functions that i think similar to arrays only so here we can get like how many number of data are there in case i'm going to say await and repos dot count okay so it will tell you like how many number of uh elect locators elements are there okay and far off is not possible so i'm going to remove this and map is also not possible here you can see like we are getting some error okay so how to print like if i want to print each and every data if i want to interact with each and every data how to do that is very simple we can do in two ways so first one is going to be very easy just assume that we are going to print the all the text right so for that we have directly like a wait and then followed by um, i'm here also i'm going to use the locator uh, so that will make sense i believe yeah so uh, repos dot and then followed by all inner text okay so we got a new functions called all in all inner text that means it is going to print all the text like whatever there within all this locators it is going to print all this okay so i'm going to run this now let's see the output okay so the advantage of locator is basically by default it is straight and the second thing is like if we try to handle the locators for multiple times it is going to refine the element and that is the good thing about locator okay and as per the document they are suggesting now to use the locators instead of element handle and element handle should be used like when we are going to use the evaluate functions or the uh, one more function is there actually i forgot yeah whenever you are going to use the page dot eval or the evaluate function okay i think evaluate i have covered this eval i have to cover maybe in some another videos i will do that okay now coming back to this so here you can see that we are getting all the all the data and this is the size of the i mean the count of the uh, selectors okay so we got all the print data now just in case if you want to use the loop uh, it's going to be very simple we are going to use the nth concept so here i'm going to say like for and i should know the locator size so i will use this okay so let's say let's see equal to okay and here i'm going to say uh let and i should be lesser than c and then followed by i plus plus okay and here i'm going to say like uh repos dot nth and within that we have to pass an integer so we'll pass the i here and then followed by inner text that means not in HTML, inner inner text so or also you can use like text content so that will also give me the text basically okay so yeah now let's await and let me store that in a variable called text and let me print it okay so console.log text and i'm going to comment this console log as of now let's go and run this okay okay so that's it this is very cool uh i think of course we can see this so nth is basically what it means uh, like uh, nth is like uh like trying to find multiple elements and based on the ith element the uh, ith value we are trying to find some uh locator basically okay so for multiple finding multiple element also we are going to use the same and for finding a single element also we are going to use the same so based on the scenario like based on the function we use like if you use count of course it's know that it's going to find multiple elements 
or if I have to use like nth, you can use the nth directly. You know, for example, uh, here is a beautiful example actually in the website, so I can show you that. <clears throat> like here, when I say like page dot locator button dot click, and if there are several buttons in the DOM, it will throw error that we know because by default it is strict in nature. Okay, but when we are going to explicitly tell like uh, which locator to pick. So this, this locator function basically returns multiple locators. Okay. So when I say like first or the last, basically it is going to interact with that. If you want like particular, you can use the dot nth. So here you can see we have used the um, nth, right? So similarly, I can say like repos dot first or repos dot last. Okay. Don't ask me like whether we have second or third. No, it's basically the nth. Okay. So that's it. Um, this pretty uh, neat and clean. And from now onwards, we are going to use the locator. That is what suggested in the documentation. If you are following the playwright entire playlist from from the very first, I hope you know now. Like there are a lot of changes actually, and uh, it's it's just evolving. Okay, so now the playwright is everyone is starting to talk about the playwright, and I'm very glad that I have took up this playwright and started to create many videos uh, sometimes even i get confused like which one is best to use but i think playwright is really awesome and i i actually expect a lot of people to come forward and use the playwright and since i'm doing like as soon as the there is any some changes i'm bringing the content to the uh, playlist uh, um, basically like if you see from the very first you might know now like there are a lot of changes okay so with the, all the changes that are coming in the playwright, I think that is for good only. So just try to uh, enhance or enhance, like if you are already working on playwright and if you want to enhance your framework, probably just try to adopt the new, new changes. Uh, that is how you can make use of the playwright in a very good manner. Okay. So with that said, uh, that's it for my side. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one very soon. If you have any feedback, please do let me know in the comments. I'll be happy to take that. Okay. It can be positive or negative. Cheers.